the Sand Siphon like the Attack on Titan, which I just so drilled into how to play. I was about to eat my words if we cut over to a team and there's a Hardy, but it's not! It's Attack on Titan variation with a Tessa fighting over Money Spot at the moment. Reverb going incredibly low. We're actually going to see Yogurt throwing out the ultimate, trying to peel for their Viper coming in to set up the Dragon Slayers into Nezhar's. Pulling the full focus as well, as their two teammates are able to capitalize on that stun animation that Yogurt is able to set on up. Incredibly smart play coming through from Tessa, taking advantage of the fact that when you're in that first drop fight, Tessa gets her ultimate up faster than a lot of these other heroes, so you are immediately able to capitalize off of that one. As moving over to Shipwreck, it does look like we're going to be in another one of those incredibly aggressive lobbies. Kishi on that Wu Chen has that longsword, looking to try and find an in at the moment. Koala's the only one currently. Actually, both of Casper and Kishi do have grey armor, but they have to be incredibly careful that they don't drop down in some of these other teams. Kishi charging up that charged horizontal on the long side, looking to play off of the stagger set up by his team. The overhead hold spear actually getting committed onto doing so much damage, but we're actually going to see Namza go down. There was a Kurumi tether off on the right side, and it does look like actually one player was able to be picked up off of the back of it, but almost immediately they're going to go down as Viper Ultimate now invested koala without all the armor to be able to keep themselves alive through the wind up going to go down viper ultimate denied team kill picked up yeah turning it over here to team 12 yet again miss you a uh, little caught out here uh, two of their teammates down here trying to come over as the Dodo tries to get the resurrection on the ski will be able to tap dodge the grab though keep it going and keep the attention of the monk busy Dodo yet again at the last possible second using the iframes to get away uh, miss you here not having any of it really wants to come in tries to use the stamp to keep a Dodo from the body a Dodo oh! actually jumps up into the grab though no a Dodo oh! might have just ended things here for team number eight try hard with a lick of HP on the backside what were you thinking a dodo oh my goodness try hard coming up looking out for some pots here such an unfortunate turn of events miss you gonna use that bell there coming in try hard trying to utilize the staff there it is the decayed ultimate though no place for miss you to go the hit confirm into the staff this is gonna be it for miss you here very unfortunate he's the only one with a resurrection available on the team as well. Miss you, gonna have to run it back and spend this game trying to get APF and their other teammate back in it. Oh, I flashed back to Jacob last year, Rune, with Roy Hee Hee. <laughs> getting one versus free off of a double grab. Now we're going to be seeing team number 10 trying to take on team number one. Kurumi Armor Restore actually picked up for this Transformer team. Very interesting to see that. They do have purple armor on that Yushan, however, so they're going to be getting the full amount of value for that ultimate. Teva invested now to be able to keep everyone topped back up as team number one did look for that disengagement. Team three also on the horizon looking to try and come in with that third party. Team 10 might kite their way over towards the Ballista. Neither their ultra ultimates to be able to sit on this weapon and make sure that no one wants to fully commit to the chase on that Transformer team. And that is exactly what happens. The Yushan moving their way up onto the Ballista, making sure that their Monk and Kurumi aren't taking too much pressure behind them as we move back into Shipwreck. Grapple Cancel coming out onto Sin's Yushan. No one going down just yet for the team as we're going to be seeing the Wish and Blades coming through Viper Ultimate now invested. That silence going to be dodged by everyone breaking away behind the buildings, but it catches one out and Sin Solo immediately goes down. Parry picked up as well off of the back of Commitment onto that blue. Koala trying to come in with those nunchucks. Wish and Ultimate going to be invested to be able to pick Casper right back up. I do believe the Yoro still has that ultimate to be able to use. If QNT wants to try and rubber band back into that fight, but they have to be careful because since Numsa actually had gone for the transformation to be able to make sure that they're defending that body and find the revive and full reset that the Wuchen teleport disengagement allowed for the team. 
Yeah, Team Six here, like you said, able to disengage that Wu Chen. This is why Wu Chen is probably going to be one of those heroes that never really falls out of the meta moxie. The amount of utility that he realistically brings to the team, the fact that he's able to use Golden Focus uh, off of that first F as well, able to restore shield for the team to act as a pseudo healer in the middle of a fight. You're able to block projectiles with those wind walls as well for a limited time. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have that ultimate, which is able able to buy you so much of a reset it's also an ultimate that is you're able to use to kind of bait other ultimates out as well you're able to take these engagements with team force them to start using those transformation ults and while those transformations are going through you can literally just use the wuchen ult during the same channel period and get your team out and now they're not able to find any value in those ultimates and all you've traded is a singular ult especially when you're playing that attack on titan comp that we see constantly once those ultimates are down, you can re-engage onto that team that has now lost their core ultimate loop that they weren't able to get any value off of. You're able to come back in with a Viper stun, something like the Yodo, or even replacing the Yodo with the Tessa that we've seen as well, and just start to lock this team down. And they have no sort of out like you do because of your ability to have that Wu Chen. And it's why I never see this hero realistically falling out of the meta. We're gonna see Fly here, Neo Neo looking to come in here on team at number two. Viper old being invested there by Flash and unfortunately B just gets completely eliminated. Fly tries to stay away from this so that they also don't get stun locked out here. Unfortunately, when they do go back in trying to save something, they are going to be completely eliminated. The third party getting ready to come through big here in a bit of a pickle not only are the wind walls down going to be able to block these hands coming through but he has no support coming through from the team either there's multiple teams nearby as well so he's going to be forced into the zone with no healing coming from a karumi and we're going to see team two continue to keep the pressure up waits for the bell gets the read on it comes through gonna pop the f2 on top of him comes in with those all the yodo has to do is repop the ability was not even gonna go for it just utilizes the clanks there to let the zone do the work and sheep here able to pick up yet another elimination as team two continues to hold the edge of the zone for him here so he can come back in with little to no worry moxie yeah, look at Niu Niu actually using that uh, Kurumi Teva earlier before the fight began because of that pressure coming through from the Attack on Titan team when they were looking to run away. And unfortunately for them, losing that fight is going to significantly set them back in terms of being able to try and put themselves into taking this first run of Yang, something that the Transformer team really needs because it's the easiest way to be able to scale your loot early on in these rounds. There's no surprises. That's the exact reason why we're going to be seeing Team 5 posture up to try and take a realm of yang themselves purple armor already on to cat not running the f2 running the f1 cat looking to just try and threaten this space karumi umbrella actually going to be popped early coming through from team eight to have that defense buff now it's going to be a race and cat gets grieved out of being able to go through the portal has anyone been able to make it tomorrow ultimate is actually going to force cat into using that tn high ultimate early zip ultimate now going to be popped cat going to be receiving the Karumi heal early on since you can recast that circle so your monk is able to freely move around a little bit more without having to worry about being denied that avenue of sustain as we get to see that realm of yang that team eight were able to take going up against team number seven the dodo on that tn high still holding on to the ultimate looking to scale rush with this spear and find a lockdown continuing to harass and move around the yushan in ultimate up for team seven but the scale rush from a Dota making it a lot harder for any of these players to actually stay static enough for the Yushan to be able to find that lockdown that he's been looking for. And he's out of ultimate. Tianhai still with the ultimate of his own. Now he's going to use it to divide and conquer the rest of the team since the Yushan isn't going to be able to pop the ultimate and save himself. And two players go down in quick succession, leaving the lone Tianhai in the ultimate being peppered away by this repeating crossbow and pole sword coming through from tryhard he does get grabbed but the rest of the team have enough damage to keep us back safe and team eight walk away with the win this this was disgusting a dodo not only do you pull out the monk's natural born enemy there in the repeating crossbow but you turn around and you style on him by getting the elimination with your wisp 
You get him low enough, you let your team whack him one more time, and then you throw the wisp. You literally throw in sand in the man's eye. Come on, Dodo. <laughs> That, that was disrespectful, downright. But a very clean fight coming out from that team. The target acquisition, very strong. And, of course, it just utilizing every piece to their advantage. Able to utilize the ultimate there to keep those uh, monk hands from coming through once he transform. And, of course, stepping all the way through the backside and just tearing through him with that repeating crossbow. And again, this is something we've seen time and time again when it comes to these particular uh, monk comps. That repeating crossbow, something like Venom Tip, is just mm. such a detriment. It's uh, it's like trying to climb a massive wall with no climbing gear when you're a monk. You are just getting put into the blender and there's nothing your team can do about it. Your Karumi can tether you, but you are such a big target. And that Venom Tick is going to tick away so fast at your life bar as we cut back here to Team 11. Moving away here from team number eight as they continue to give chase. And team 11 knows they don't want to take this fight. They're potentially going to be playing into a buff on the side of team number eight, and they don't want to take a fight at a disadvantage. A little bit of swap going here, but Tryhard comes up over the top here with the pole sword. Some coverage coming in, going to buy a little bit of protection for Mushroom, but Mushroom immediately going to eat that pole sword. We see the ult invested here as well as they just try to come in and get Mushroom away from the rest of this fight. Plan B trying to utilize that long sword here, but Zhao going to take a ton of damage. The ultimate already being invested here from the zipping. Try hard and Plan B caught in the wisp. He's just barely able to get away. Try hard trying to charge up those verticals on that pole sword and catch somebody off guard. We'll catch Plan B with the stage one onto the vertical. A Dodo will turn around and do it again. Plan B taking a ton of damage here. A Dodo up in the tree looking for the reset. Mushroom is going to go down as Team 11 here loses one of their members, about to lose another. They get try hard though. Unfortunately, he's got the Vermilion Bird by Plan B able to stay alive here, but it's now him versus Ski, and sure enough, they're going to clean up the elimination. Ski, try hard. More than happy with this turn of events. A Dodo goes down, but he does have the Vermilion. He's just going to come back and regroup with the team. Well, one team that needs to come back at the moment is team number seven. They have that Yang depletion. They're looking to try and find these kills. Feeling just coming through with that Katana has to be careful that they're not going to take too much damage. Hiding behind the Monk at the moment to be able to get that shield reset. 1 minute and 34 seconds. This is not a place that you want to be fighting. Celestra is renowned for how easy it is for these players to slip away from these fights. And it seems like everyone from Team 7 is trusting in the Monk to be able to lock the players down before they're able to disengage and use the buildings to block line of sight and slip away silently. They've been able to find one kill. That's one soul blip that's going to be cleansed from them. Karim ultimate invested as well so that feeling can get aggressive on top of the rooftop overholding the katana to bait the red flash coming through from his opponent now commits onto it putting themselves into canyon grapple cancel now coming on through but because of the train he's not able to actually go for a combo string and behind them it does look like edward has actually been forced to use that tn high ultimate early now we're going to be seeing feeling on the ua shan looking to try and knock down some of these players if you're in your ultimate however you're not able to grab the soul bloom so they need to find these kills and quickly and then drop out of the ultimate otherwise rune is going to be no good they're going to be kicked out of the lobby to the depletion and they're going up against a team with the karumi f3 that damage reduction is making it so much harder for team 7 to find any damage that actually sticks onto these players kriolang still on the yushin ultimate is going to be dropping out of it just now are they going to be able to find a kill the bell denies kriolang from being able to connect the Karumi ultimate keeping everyone topped up. Kreelang now going to get staggered out by the other Yushan's ultimate. Going into the building to be able to scare us through the door frame, but he gets caught out. And it's team number seven, unfortunately, that haven't been able to find the kills in time. Team 10 walk away with the fight win and deny the comeback from the team that had Yang depletion. Uh, they tried so hard here, Moxie. It's a kind of deadly situation for them, though. Not only are you inside Celestra where people are able to break your ankles so easy just by using that terrain to get those scale rushes and keep moving around, you also have that Karumi, of course, with the F3, using the tether, the ultimate coming through just to keep everyone topped up, not even allowing you 
to pick up the elimination and then just Karumi tethering to get the resurrection and keep them into the game. Just saying, if we keep topped up, that Yang depletion is going to come through and kill you. There's nothing you can do about it. And sure enough, they just have enough sustain and engage and disengage from that fight to keep Team 7 from finding any sort of value there. We see Team 6 here heading in, looking to go on to this Morris Blessing, but we do have Team Number 2 looking to come through. We're going to see the Yodo F invested here, as well as the Wuchen Wind Walls to come through. Sheep going to come from the other side as we cut to the Realm of Yang here. It's going to be Team Number 8 going head-to-head -head with Team Number 12. A little bit of a run back here for these two teams. APF trying to come in. Oh my goodness, a massive parry onto a Dodo Scale Rush. Sorry, not Scale Rush, but Dragon's Rush there. Miss you coming in more than happy with his upgrade to the legendary spear as the dodo tries to come in again and he does it again miss you finds the parry a second time onto a dodo a dodo continues to try to commit to the dragon's rush but he's not able to find it as he gets parried both times now inside here the temi ult coming through as the dodo looks to use the wisp trying to lock down somebody Ski taking a lot of damage from the Yueshan, though. And the double grab from Miss You. A Dodo is going to go down as team number eight is getting rinsed through here by Miss You. The double grab costing them entire member. Try hard on the backside looking for the scale rush. You're going to see the Takeda ults coming through, trying to buy them some value. Try hard going to get picked up. The ult going to end here, but into the Kurumi ultimate. Try hard just locked on the edge here. Another. Dragon's Rush going to be parried off here by APF. Try hard trying to find a reset. Will find one pot. No ultimate available though. Coming in here with the Pulse or just looking to do as much damage as they can. They will find damage onto APF. And against all odds, Team 8 being kept alive by the healer here. Ski just doing everything they can. Oh my goodness, there it is. The dreadful whale to lock it out. And against all odds, Tryhard's team turns that around, Moxie. Sometimes you have an ace up your sleeve. Sometimes you have a dreadful whale in your back pocket. And the fact that they wait until that last moment to throw the dreadful whale is so unexpected. You're not able to parry it before it charges up into that golden. At that point, you just have to take your hands off of the keyboard. Wonderfully played. We were talking that we'd been impressed by Ski on the Kurumi, but I mean, that zip sustainability? Oh, if we had a stat track and that would have been through the roof. The fact that everyone is able to stay alive sends one of your players because of the punishment coming through from that double grab. Now we're going to see that Assassin's Lunge coming through from Seven with the dagger looking to lock down Q and T's Casper who's trying to stay ahead of his chasers with the dual halberd movement tech. Up he goes into the tree off of the opportunity provided by that Yodo F gets interrupted by the scale rush however and that's going to be Team Seven able to find the elimination clean stuff coming through from them. But my goodness, we do really have to talk about the fact that Dreadful Whale, it's, it's, I think, the first time as well that we've seen it today. Very much is immensely powerful. And a lot of the time you do see it being run a lot more inside those Realm of Yangs for the reason that it has so much damage off of the back of it, yes, but the lockdown potential. When you're able to actually get into that golden charge and keep a player trapped right into the middle of it, you immediately come to your other teammates, hey, I have someone in Dreadful, we're going to be able to combo into other soldiers. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I, I, I don't know why we've gone back to Dreadful Whale being gold focus. Uh, it's just absolutely such a strong jade on probably uh, arguably one of the strongest uh, weapons in the game right now. We have seen dagger meta for a long time. Many players just keeping one in their back pocket for the movement alone. Mm -hmm. As we take a look here, a fight breaking out between team number eight and team number two here. Team number eight with that Mystic Might getting that 25% damage reduction is going to be in a strong position to take this fight. Team number two trying to stay spread out here so that they can just keep pressuring team eight away they know that buff's not going to last for too terribly longer they have about a minute left try hard though trying to utilize a little bit of cover trying to utilize uh, some of that surfing off of the pole sword to reposition to the flank there and catch one of these players outright but team two continues to position this extremely well sheep gonna get caught here with a grapple we're gonna see them come in here and try hard out in front is gonna pop that f1 wants to come in wants to get one of them to make the mistake to throw the blue there it is try hard's gonna find the value and the rest of his team is going to be able to push in now. There's the Viper ult. Tryhard extremely topside hard, just waiting to come cover for his team as the Viper ult ends. And sure enough, he will be able to do that there with the Takeda ultimate. And they're going to be forced to pop the Wu Chan ultimate as they find a top.
ton of value out of tryhard alone there being able to come in catch sheep out and just keep the pressure going they have only invested that ultimate there from tryhard and just want to keep them locked down they're going to give chase here looking for team two unfortunately the mystic might has run out so as soon as team two is able to get a full reset they're going to be coming in one ultimate for one ultimate and it is going to be an even fight they will not have that 25 percent damage reduction but they've already invested ultimates here they do not want to give give up on the chase of the fight try hard entering the fight again with that f1 active here trying to bait somebody into the blue so he can get it unfortunately he will walk into a purple and try hard gonna take a lot of damage from that dagger down now just getting locked up here inside that pole sword we're gonna see the damage continue to come through but flatulent going to go down to a dodo here as yet another third party rolls through team 10 just coming in to find some value out of this fight Team one sitting topside watching this turn of events as it goes down. Tryhard able to get a little bit of a reset, but gonna start taking a lot of damage again. That legendary pole sword saving him quite a bit. We will see Ski use some of their abilities here to buy a safety net for Tryhard. He's trying to find the scale rush. He's able to get away from those grapples, able to use the ultimate to get another one off. But Kwizu gonna come in there on the Ueshan ult, doing a lot of stagger onto Tryhard and quite a bit of damage. Tryhard trying to find a reset, but shots raining from every single direction. The Tessa ultimate will come through. Tryhard trying to get away here. He will get topside and just enough time to get away. Yogurt will catch a little bit of damage. Tryhard going to come in with that pole sword though. There we go. The F1 comes up. He's able to get the grab out and get away here. But Ski separated from the rest of the team, fighting Team 10 by themselves. Their healer completely locked down, grabbed up. No place to go. Ski's going to go down. A Dodo and Tryhard are able to re group but they are going to lose the most crucial part of their team moxie and it's right in the middle as well if they try and stick this revive they're going to get jumped on by two different teams because team 10 are still taking pressure from team one on the high ground ski not yet going to burn out if tryhard's team play this smartly they can wait for team one and team 10 to aggress into each other and that's exactly what they're doing out of the bushes they go out onto the low ground they go they're going to be able to pick up ski wait for that alive 14 count to go to 15 there it is the revive is stuck they've got ski back into the game reverb now coming in with that viper ultimate looking to try and find some of these stuns karumi's gonna golden focus with that ultimate to be able to keep everyone healed right on up and that damage and potential coming from from team 13 and 12 on the flank is actually going to bully team one out of being able to capitalize repeating crossbones that coming through from reverb as they are not scaled up blue armor still on yogurt and drx the purple on the viper for the sole reason of getting them to survive the wind up damage of that ultimate as we're going to see them just having to play extremely passively wait for those ultimates to charge up and only then look for an instigation into a fight if they play their cards right they're going to be able to capitalize as the zone collapses but this is very much a composition that is designed to try and come in for those third parties get a kill and then very quickly reposition your way out you do not have the insane amount of sustainability that is available to the sand siphon teams where the zip is going to make sure that everyone's able to survive and the tn uh the tumult can come in with that ultimate and cover everyone's escape without having to worry about being chunked through before you're able to break into safety by those ranged weapons team one going to be playing a lot more positively they're not going to be playing naraka they're going to be rolling stealth checks as we're going to have a look at the overhead view and see these teams that are still going to be playing aggressively are going to be looking to bully other teams into overplaying their hand a little bit too early as Team 12's Miss You has been able to get their hands onto legendary weapons. We're actually going to see Tryhard out in the open trying to deny Team 12 from being able to pick up that Morris Blessing and get themselves a second lot of legendary armor. Team 10 backing on off Team 2 also not really wanting to make their presence known around that Morris Blessing. More than content to just exchange a couple of pot shots from those ranged weapons coming on through as everyone puts themselves into a high ground position so that they're less likely to get jumped down upon by everyone with those grapples. Yeah.
taking a look here they do have a relatively strong position on the top side here team at 12 trying to stay on the flat ground here where they have cover with the trees as well of course that morse blessing coming through trying to contest it team eight though looking to push forward to be the team that tries to capitalize on his team 12 goes down below team two still in a strong position to try to grief the players out here on the box but it looks like team eight is going to be able to walk away here with that Moore's blessing oh uh, they almost get it unfortunately they don't have the cover a uh, dodo doesn't have the ultimate to invest on it as well no maybe they did get it yeah they were able to get yep. it that legendary armor coming through on to try hard there sorry i saw the little timer there on the umbrella and uh thought it was the box halfway open as we take a look here teammate very happy about the position there and ski still holding on to that dreadful whale not showing it very often either trying to keep that ace hidden up their sleeve as we get ready to head into some of these final fights 15 players left alive and ski against all odds brought back quite literally probably at the last possible second when we see them mm. move out of the bush to go down I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to get there before they timed out. They must have hit it right as they were about to time out, able to get that resurrection thanks to the other teams moving forward here. Team 2 wanting to break Team 10 away from the space. They want to hold on to these rooftops, have this wall to fall behind if things start going the wrong way. Try hard there with the Swarm, pumping some damage out, just getting shots down there onto Team number 2 as they hold into the open there. Team one in a very strong, aggressive position there at the top side of that wall as they look to press down onto Team 12, who not in the strongest of positions, but they need to be careful because Team 8 is coming up from behind and will evict them from that place of power as Team 1 looks to move on to Team number 12. Team 1 trying to hold on to the rock there will come up and looks to evict Team 8 back from it, but they're going to pay the price here as they are sandwiched between two teams and Team 12 from down below start to come in heavily with those bow shots onto their team and start doing a lot of damage. We will see the transformation being invested here from Team number 10 who also want to come in and get involved in this fight. Try hard with the ultimate active already here. Just going to move away, trying to come in and cover. They don't want to lose Ski yet again. Able to come in and catch quite a bit of damage here on De Zhao Zhu. Uh, more damage coming through. The ultimate going to be able to come through just in time. Try hard going to get grabbed up. They are going to go ahead and invest the slam there on to Try hard. Try hard coming down to the bottom on this tree, looking for a little bit of a space, but wants to get regrouped with the team. Unfortunately, teammate kind of caught out in the middle here. Not a lot of ground for them to go to, trying to turn things on to team number 10 with the swarm, but the monk going to detransform. Team one will lose a DRX here, and Yogurt and Reverb forced to move into that position that team 12 was in as APF and Miss You keep the pressure up onto team number 10, who are still trying to maintain that strong position on the top side of that rock, Moxie. Yeah, miss you, and that transformation is a huge target to team number two on the other side of the zone. Ranged weapons come on out as they're just absolutely chunking through that monk's health as quickly as they can. Witch and Windles in position to be able to block any ranged projectile backfiring onto them as they just keep themselves out of sight, out of mind, behind this fencing, waiting for Flatulent to be able to come in and set this Yodo up when this zone properly collapses. This field is incredibly wide open. There is not a lot of places for these players to hide from that Viper ultimate, especially if they're the only ones in control of that fencing. We're going to see Crazy coming in with that Phantom Step, looking to be able to avoid it. Has the fan is going to be able to commit onto some of those blue focuses. Now we see that Dreadful Whale being invested from the side of Ski in the center of the zone. They're going to actually get enchanted by the Tessa V1, however. Yanli going for the transformation on the TN high. Ski looking to try and come in with that dagger. One, two, gets knocked back by the Tessa F. Going to put themselves towards the monk's feet to be able to tap dodge around the potential scoop. Coming on through is going to be able to tap dodge as well. Back into the F1. Dreadful Whale starts to come through. Pushing Yanli into looking for a jump out of it. But he's able to scoop Ski at the very end of it. Slam onto the zip. But it's actually going to be blocked by any follow-up damage coming through with a Dodo peeling with the Phoenix Blast on that longsword to allow Ski to back on off, ice the pressure, and let the zip heal back up. F1 thrown out so that everyone on teammate can hold these forward aggressive positions. Tryhard going down incredibly low. Going to potentially get stunned out by the Viper. Not going to be able to 
avoid any of the follow-up damage. This key does not have the zip ultimate to be able to keep him topped up and healthy. A dodo now, the one under pressure. Ski coming and threatening the space with the charged LMB on the dagger. As well, actually going to see seven looking to lock him down with the charged R and purple to be able to go through that blue. Ski backing on off does have the F1, sets up the dreadful whale, gets the elimination onto reverb. As a result, Soul Bloom potentially still there. Goes for the Soul Break, gets hit by the Tessa V1, charges up the LMB, cancels it out early to be able to come through and ice into the Tessa, but he gets stunned out by the Teva. V2 going to be available to survive the mid dump coming through from the Nunchucks. Hasn't used it just yet. Tab dodges into the safety of the zone, gets hit by the Tessa F, using the ultimate to be able to keep themselves alive. Overholds the second stage of the LMB and finds the elimination. Ski is a player that we've been talking about that has impressed all day, but Rune, my goodness, that zip just pulled out a magic trick.